So can you tell us anything about the heart chakra? The heart chakra is the most energetic part of the human being. Often many people think that the brain is the highest magnetic energy where pulsation of energy takes place. But our heart has its own natural rhythm, its cardiac rhythm. And it's an electromagnetic pulse that takes place. Now this pulse that pulses through the body is like an electrical field which stimulates the whole being. So the heart chakra itself, in modern time, because we're coming from a Hindu theology when it comes to understand this term chakra or heart itself, which is to do with compassion, love. Many people in the modern era are not really too appreciating the concept of compassion. Not many people are appreciating the concept of love neither. And the idea of loving kindness and all these are connected to this spare or spiral of energy, which is what is referred to as the heart chakra. So the heart itself has its own consciousness. In the heart, as our ancients once said, there sits a woman and she determines and lets you through the gateway of your own true inner being. So you have to be truthful to yourself. So when it comes to now accessing the heart chakra, there is a level of truth that has to be appreciated. Now, once you are enlightened to your own true divine truth, then your heart chakra opens up like a lotus, unfolds. When this unfolding takes place, then what we know as compassion or love or loving kindness starts to evolve. Love was determined by eye-to-eye -eye contact and this love wasn't where you had to have a sexual contact. This love was with somebody who you had an intimate relationship with and in this intimate relationship you didn't have to discuss your children, what you're eating tonight, um, who's inside the bed, who's sleeping. None of them things were an issue. It, were, it was a form of love where there was no sexual contact but it was a deep passion. In this Western society, that is the first type of love that was developed. Now, this type of love is a different type of understanding to how we understand love today. And it's kind of a bit, of, it's a bit more purer. Because in that love there, we had to love because of an affinity between two beings. I see and wow, I feel kind of attracted to you. I'm unsure why, but there's an attraction that I feel. But <clears throat> that's where it ends. I don't need to take you into... I don't take it no further than that. There doesn't have to be no sexual contact. So this is what we're talking about, the heart chakra as well. The heart chakra love isn't a love of a carnal desire. It isn't a love of your base material instinct. It is a love which is where you see the whole of all sentient life forms, all beings as one being. And you, are, you have a connection to everything that exists on the planet. Now this is the heart chakra open and unfolding. <laughs> so with all the heart conditions and heart mm -hmm. problems out here, um, what would, how would Tai Chi explain that? There, in Tai Chi, there's a simple concept which is where blood flows, energy flows. So, as the heart itself is the main pump of blood around the system, if that organ isn't functioning correctly, it's not pumping efficiently. There's a deficiency in the actual contraction and relaxation of the tissue. That means energy is not going to flow appropriately. As energy is not going to flow appropriately, then there's going to be a disease going on. This connection, this heart pumping so, and this connection to the diaphragm, where you have a ligament that attaches to your diaphragm, so as you breathe and expand, you're actually increasing or decreasing the contraction of the heart. So the heart already has its own rhythm that's taking place. You take a heart out and it still pumps. This, this, this heart can pump without a connection to a physical body, which is remarkable. Now, when you add in breathing, and when we breathe, that we are pulling the fascia that's around the heart through this tendon or a ligament that's attached to the diaphragm. So we breathe in and expand our belly. Then that pulls the, the, the fascia, tightens it, and causes a contraction on the heart. When we do this slowly, then it's like we're calming the contraction and relaxation of the heart. So when we're doing this now, 
now we're entering into deeper esoteric or metaphysical transformation of the being of your internal being through the focusing of the breath with the mind and the heart so we're trying to link heart and mind together